shower, we got super excited and we had this beautiful Labradorite necklace that we were showing. The powers that be had a plan to do something special with it. And there was like a little technical snafu that we did not, and by the way, anyone who picked this up, we're gonna honor this. We're actually gonna do a different price than when we just showed it a couple minutes ago. <laughs> Welcome back to live television. <laughs> I this actually so do not know what that new price is. And, okay, I, I have no idea. We're about okay, to show I'll, it. Okay, I'll tell you, you what. Okay, I, this is live national TV. Okay, I didn't even know that we were showing this. Okay, <laughs> okay. and the only reason I can talk about it is because I are the manufacturer. Yeah, you, okay. you designed it. And you I made designed it. I designed it. Right. I actually made it. And also, I didn't know we were going to be showing this, and uh, I have no clue um, what we were selling. What it was for, the so. What was the price that we had it in the it was first like hour? One ninety nine. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. One ninety nine. So I actually have no idea what the price is that they had intended on doing. All right, here it comes. We're both seeing this. Everyone in the America is seeing it at the exact same time. I. <gasps> $159.99. Oh, okay. So if you bought it <laughs> in our first hour, I apologize, you will 100% get the sale price. You will not pay the $199.75. It is $32 to get home this beautiful Labradorite necklace. Item number 804930. Obviously, we don't have a lot of these, but, um, and I will show you faceted on one side, not faceted on the other. 18 inches with a two and three quarter inch extender. Uh, I will be putting this on. It is gorgeous. Oh, I love the way Orshi's wearing it with a little lavender tank and some, a, a cute jean jacket. I mean, this is such a wow piece. And now it's a wow piece on sale. So that was a first for me <laughs> where I didn't even know, like this, this is all happening in real time. Okay, so are, are, this, are we talking about this now we, or uh, what are we doing? Absolutely, yes. Is, okay, okay. yeah, I didn't know either. <laughs> I know, right? Jay and I are like, we're, we're kind of winging it here, we are, guys. We're, we're, we're little puppies. It. We're afraid we're going to get the newspapers <laughs> paid if we, if we could do the wrong thing. But yes, yeah, so we're going to talk about it right now. Okay, so, you know, this is uh, a design that I did. And um, I hope you love it. <laughs> if not, please don't tell me because yeah, I am sensitive. Okay, I, I Ellen knows it. this about me. No, no, he, I, yeah, see, so you're sensitive, and I will tell you, I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it looks magical. Well, it really looks magical. To here's me. the thing with Labrador, right? You know, and, and for people, have, you know, we just told this story, but people have tuned in. But with Labrador, right, it's it's one of those unique, rough materials that you could have absolutely the best grade Labradorite in the entire planet Earth. Okay, this comes from Madagascar, from some friends of ours that mine it, not exclusively for us, but we buy all the high grade material. But you could have the absolute highest grade Labradorite material on planet Earth. If you don't have lapidaris and cutters that have the ability to chase the fire in this natural material, it will just go dead on you. Okay, just like a lot of, just like fire agates, um, a lot of precious opal. If you don't know how to chase the fire lines in the material, um, the natural material, and uh, orient this, what they call orient the stone as you're cutting it, um, it will just dull out and just be <laughs> nothing, okay? This uh, material is fantastic grade material, but you can see they've actually orient the stone and that's why you're seeing the fire. You're seeing that, that, that great, that almost, uh, and that is a property. This, this material has its own property, right? That fluorescence that you're seeing there is what they call labradorescence. Do you know how many people just jumped on the phone to get this? Only this material has huh? Everyone just jumped on the phone to get this right now because I'm hearing from my producer, like, double the number of people on the phone. Like, everyone, like, loved this necklace. They loved it at $200, but they're like, eh. That's a lot. I, oh, can I do it? Can I? And I think the thought process went from I got to get that before it sells out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I got to get that because uh, one fifty nine ninety eight. You think about you could buy like um, you know uh, fashion jewelry at a department store for that price, and you're this is genuine labradorite, and in 
I think that, I love that the big giant, look at that ginormous stone in this. I mean, it looks like, what I love about Labrador, it looks like there's an entire universe inside of it. Looks, it looks like science fiction to me, like a magical universe, another like parallel universe living inside the necklace. It looks really so magical. And you see it in the light and you, and, and it's also, not only did, you know, they, you know, they talk about chasing the fire, but they also faceted it. So it's just incredible. So if you've got $32, I would, I would treat yourself to this necklace. You will not be so sorry. You will love it. And look at all those colors, the purples, the blues. I see some, you know, pinks and ambers. I'll get my hands out of the way and just, you know, kind of show this. And, you know, just I'm just turning it. I'm not doing anything spectacular. Look at the fire. You see that fire right there? You see how that magic pops up when, when it just almost glows from within? This is a truly magical piece. Well, um, number one, just the, the, the properties of Labradorite, and it, ha it has that property of Labradorescence, it's its own. I designed this to be big, to be bold. So you're really seeing it. Now, I'm telling you right now, too, is we're showing you it here, okay? <laughs> Um, we're probably showing it, it's almost like a conspiracy. It is right? the worst possible setting <laughs> really. to show Labradorite is giant television lights blaring on it, right? <laughs> it is, um, you know, you know uh, just so everybody, if you've never been to a studio, you know, one of the biggest things uh, with studios, and, and here again, yeah. you're, you're, you're using, uh, when you're shooting with cameras, you're more interested in skin tone. Yes, and it's of, great, right, of course. And it, it's really great for clothing. I mean, you know, uh, yeah. studio lighting is great for clothing, it's great for skin tone. Um, if you wanted to pick the worst way to show gemstones, <laughs> right, <laughs> or show gem materials, this would be it. So I'm telling you that because you're seeing it here and you're seeing the pops of color. You're seeing like right. as, or she the moves or anything. The fact that you're even seeing it in this light, Jay. Exactly. So I'm actually physically looking at it here, like, and I'm seeing it, and I guarantee you it's not coming across like it will. When you get it home and you pull it out, you'll see what I mean. You're, it, as good as it looks here and you're seeing it, it looks twice as good if not better, when you pull it out and you actually are able to actually physically see it, and actually if you see it under natural lights or more white light, that you would, which most homes have. I mean, you don't have studio lighting in your in your house. I, my wife might in her bedroom. I think in her, you know, <laughs> she's got like, with the big no, 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 she's got no, she's got this makeup. A uh, huge like oh, makeup really? area and stuff like that, and I know that those lights were real expensive. Oh really? I, I know, I, I know, I, I remember that. That and the guy when they were putting him in, I said, "How much?" Is that? <laughs> How like, much is that like? And so, but it's for skin tone, yeah. right? It's not mm -hmm. not for jewelry. But uh, the reason I'm telling you this is as good as you, you might think it looks here, uh, it looks twice as good when you get it into natural lights. Oh my gosh, so $32 on FlexPay. We, you know, we showed it in the last hour. I saw the necklace, my producer saw it. We we're like, oh, this is incredible. We gotta like sneak this in here. And then they, we got phone calls in the control room. Like, wait a minute, wait a minute. We, 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 had, a, we had a plan there. And we're like, wait, what? <laughs> <laughs> so it was really, uh, you know, I'm sorry. Everyone who bought it in the last hour, and, and at the, you know what's interesting is it proves at $200. People but were like, I've got to have it. Okay. So we will honor the price. If you bought it in the last hour, don't think, wait a minute, it wasn't that price. I, I was willing to pay $200 for it. We will honor this price, of course, for you. So you'll be paying the $159.98. We don't have a lot of these. We're getting really busy on the phone line. If you want to get yours, I'd use express automated ordering. I would call in right now, or I would go to hsn.com and put in that item number 804930 and this is brand new even though it's brand new $40 off for this for this moment this is incredible jay i love this in here again it's big it's bold and you know why do you why do you wear jewelry right why do you accessorize okay um, maybe you need that little you know smaller pieces you know just that little accent of color that little pop of color for me, um, and you know, it's really, really, you know, with, with me, when I go to restaurants, when I'm at the airport, when I'm any, or maybe I'll, you know, my wife and I are out at some event, um, I always, uh, when people come into the room, I always see what they're wearing, what they're accessorizing with. And then you kind of, you get a lot from what they're like, right? Or you see something, you go, wow. And you know what's really interesting when you, uh, uh, I, I'm a people watcher, so I watch people. And when you have something like this and you wear it into the room, um, 
it, and observe this for yourself. You're in a crowd, right? Somebody comes in with something fabulous. I mean, they've got a fabulous necklace or they've got a fabulous dress on or they, they've got, you know, maybe some fabulous jewelry. And you will actually see pe heads turn and people look. And they, this, these are statement pieces. Oh, yeah. They're really wearable pieces of art. My thing, though, with materials like this, um, I like to go big. I, you know, I like a big design, something that really, really shows this material for what it is. And here again, it's something unique. It's something different, mm. something special. Um, but it's also something that if you don't know how to work it, yeah. right, if you don't actually know how to work the material, um, yeah. It really just washes out and it doesn't look like anything. Luckily, Jay knows how to work the material. Well, it's not so me. Every it's necklace, our, it's oh. our lapidaris. Uh, yeah. Uh, if you had me cut this. <laughs> no, you, no. I mean your company. and you. you yeah, number one, you wouldn't be happy. Yeah. Number two, you'd be waiting on it for about five years. Okay. And, about, only I, one I no uh, one, and one person. One person would you know, actually I was get thinking it. about how few people have the skill and the talent to cut stones. I'm bet guessing it's less and less people. Okay. Um, a the people that I have working for me, including silversmiths and lapidaris, it's really funny. Um, the average person has been with me for well over 30 years. Okay. And what's really funny is the new up and comers yeah. that we have are actually their children. And because here's what you don't go to lapidary school. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. This is, it's an art form. Same thing with silversmithing. There are silversmith schools. But um, we've actually got silversmiths um, out of silversmith schools. All they teach them is the basics. Right. I mean, they're really at the basic, basic level. Yeah. Um, all of all, the silver work and lapidary work, these are art forms that actually... Yeah. On the job training. It, it's <laughs> the only way to get it. And every material is uniquely different on how it cuts. And especially this material yeah. is one of those materials that... You have to have somebody that has the ability to see the fire line, chase the fire line, and then as you're cutting it, like I said, you, you know, a normal material, you take it, you look at, okay, how thick can I cut this? You cut it almost like a loaf of bread is how your initial cuts are. So that you're slicing, making slabs of the material, and then from there you're either going to make beads or you're going to make cabochons, whatever you're going to make, right? So, but that's what you do is you slab it. With labradorite, if you do that, you just wasted the material. You have to cut it. You might take one piece of rough material in labradorite and something maybe this big, and you might cut it different ways, 10, 12 different ways as you cut it. So you cut a slice, you chase the fire line. Okay, is the fire line still running like this? Or maybe now it's running uh, up and down, it's running vertical. So then you have to chase the fire line like that. So you, you can't just cut it you know, just slice it up and work it. You literally have to, each cut that you make on it, you have to see, okay, where did the fire line go? And then chase that fire. Okay, well, we're getting very limited on this one. If you want to jump in, we're doing our final couple seconds, 804-930. We had a mini presentation in the last hour. It was at 199.75, like literally in the last hour. So if you did buy in the last hour, we are honoring the sale price during our show. While we were out here live, they just they had had a plan that this was going to be uh, something that they were going to, you know, be a special item, special price. So they took $40 off. So if you would like to get this home now for $32, amazing deal. And take it and let that emotion of the necklace come out from the talent and artwork of the lapidaire who took the, you know, who took the fire and brought it out. It's really, it's really an incredible piece. It feels incredible to wear it. If you wore this to a black tie function with a blue velvet off the shoulder dress on this necklace, everybody would turn their head. If you wore this with jeans to a concert, you know, you it, it's so fun and, you know, versatile. It's not it's something that's delicate, the baby, they have to baby either. So I'm excited for you, those of you who treated yourself to this piece. We're gonna um, keep moving. We've got more goodies I wanna make sure we get through because we're gonna jump in and talk about some Cinnabar now. And the multicolor red Cinnabar star